today. Good morning. Ow! It's Sunday. The dogs are apparently back and ready for their close-ups. This one would eat. Maybe he's on a diet. I'm not sure if he has a, a dog event to go to. Hi, Edie. So it's Sunday. Um, hi, Steve. We are doing barefoot cardio conditioning, which means all you need. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Ari. Mimi Louise Anderson. Hi, welcome. That's exciting. Hi, Pamela. Oh my gosh, Pamela and Mimi Louise. Y'all are from the same um, gym where I used to teach a thousand years ago on Wilshire. Um, oh boy, <laughs> dogs are excited to be here. Um, so all you need is enough room to step forward, side, and back from wherever you're starting. If you have a mat, that is an added bonus and fantastic. Um, yes, happy Sunday. Um, if you don't have a mat, just clear some space. Um, I do recommend working barefoot or if you want to wear shoes, but socks are going to slide on carpeting or wood or tile, so whatever you have. If you have something shaped like this, which is a yoga block, it's just a 3D rectangle, that would be great. We used it in the last interval of this format. It's just when I go to Warrior 3, it's just if you don't want to reach all the way to the floor, still have that. If you have one of these, and if you don't have one, you want to improvise, you could use um, a, a thick hardback book, or if you have a big dumbbell, you can flip it on its side and use that. If you have anything like that, set it over to your right, and I'm planting a towel over there because it's going to be sweaty by the time we get there. So if you're new to this format, we do sort of a yoga flavored warm up, and then we move right into cardio intervals that all flow together. I teach them in layers, so if you're working with any kind of an injury, make sure that you do the first or second layers only. Um, if you are working with an injury that you've seen a doctor for, make sure you've been cleared to do this craziness. If you're watching this after the fact and not live on my YouTube fitness channel, thank you for subscribing, sharing, telling a friend. If you're wondering how to get there, there's a link in my Instagram bio. I also store all these classes on my IGTV, so there's no excuse. You can do them anytime, anywhere in the palm of your hand, so there's that. Thank you to everybody who's been able to throw a donation to my Venmo or my PayPal or my snail mail. I appreciate it. It's keeping this, this little home gym going and it makes it possible for everybody literally all over the world, we're in all different places, keeps it so everybody can participate, employed or not. All right, also I'm keeping a beverage. I'm keeping water in a fancy wine glass hidden by the piano leg away from the dogs. But um, you have a beverage wherever you like. Cheers, happy Sunday. An extra towel. I'm gonna use a towel for the abs section at the end. So have one of those nearby. We're gonna start on the floor today, going old school. So in your space, get sort of in the middle of it. Find your child's pose. That's just hips to your heels, palms pressing into the floor. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. From here, you'll round up to find your tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Back to child's pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Round up. Find your tabletop. Come back to child's pose. Then round up to tabletop. Hold here, then tuck your hips, round your back, release, extend your spine, tuck and round, release, extend, do it again, tuck and round, release, one more, this time you'll hold your curled position, tuck your toes, wrists under your shoulders, push down and find your first down dog, hello. So pressing your heels into the floor, your palms also press into the floor. Your tailbone lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Then lower your hips to any plank. So hands under your shoulders. Feel free to put your knees on the floor from either plank. Lift your tailbone up. Find your down dog. And lower your hips down to plank. 
and back up to down dog. Remember, your knees can come to the floor. Lower to plank. One, two, down dog. One, do it again. Lower one, two. Last time here. Lower for two and hold your down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. You're in a forward fold. Let your head hang. Try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee. Sitting into your left hip. Change sides. Straighten your right leg and bend your left knee. Sitting into your right hip. And bend both knees. Let your head hang. Your tailbone lifts up. And slowly unroll. One bone at a time. At the top, shoulders down and back. Three, two, your right arm comes up and over to the left. Bend your knees forward, fold. Left arm over to the right and back up. Let's reverse. Over to your right, bend, fold. Right arm to the left and up. We'll go once more each side. So over to your left, fold around. Other way, to your right, fold. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, bend your knees far enough to get your hands to the floor and step your feet back to your downward facing dog. Heels lift up and lower, do it again, lift and lower. So lift and lower. And hold your down dog, shift your weight over to your right hand and foot. Your left leg reaches, I'm sorry, your left hand reaches back to your left ankle. Engage your core and step your left foot forward and make your way up to your left leg. Both arms come up. It's a crescent pose. Hinge forward at your hip. One, two, and up. Do it again. Hinge over for two and up. Same thing. Hinge over for two. One more time. I'm a little wobbly. Both hands on the inside of your left foot. Engage your core. Step your left leg back and find any plank. And lift your tailbone up to your down dog. Both heels lift up and lower. Do it again. Twice more. Then hold your down dog. Shift your weight to your left hand and foot. Right hand reaches back to your right ankle. Engage your core and step your right foot forward. Make your way up to your right leg. Back heel stays up, arms up. Hinge over, one, two, and up. Do it again, hinge for two. Twice more, I'm gonna wobble over at some point. Last one. And both hands on the inside of your right leg. Engage your core and step your right foot back. Find any plank. Your tailbone lifts to your down dog. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. Come back to your plank. If your knees are up, now's the time to put them down. Release your feet. Take your hips back to your heels. Back to where we started in child's pose. This time, round up and find your modified plank. Wrists under your shoulders, hips in line with your shoulders and your knees. Stay here or bend your elbows a little bit or further or a lot. Either way, press the floor away from you and take your hips back to your heels. Child's pose, that's our pattern. Let's make it flow. Round up and either hold or bend and child's pose. Do it again. Round. Hold or bend. Round. Hold or bend. Breathing all the way through this pattern. Twice more. Round. Hold or bend. This time, come all the way down. Hand stay at the side of your chest. Right leg lifts up and then your left. So you're lifting from your hip. If you're ready, press down and take a rotation. On the way up. Do it again. Lift and lower. Do four more. Either way, pressing down or not. And now press your chest up, hips to your heels. 
child's pose right here. Then round up to your modified plank. This time when you get here, tuck your toes, push down. Find your down dog again. Bring your knees back to the floor. Release your feet, hips to your heels. That's your pattern. Make it flow. Round up for two, push down. Knees to the floor, child's pose. Do it again, round up. One, two, push down. Lower your knees, child's pose. Do it again, round up. Press down. Knees to the floor, child's pose. Next time, modify plank and hold. Hold right here. Tuck your toes. Try to lift your knees. Left, or sorry, right hand to the middle. And rotate over to a side plank. Maybe your right knee finds the floor. Either way, your top arm reaches over to me and back up. Then under your bottom arm. Single count if you're ready. Towards me and up and under. And hold your side plank. Come back to the center. Find any plank. Knees up or down. Left hand to the middle. Rotate to a side plank. Maybe your left knee finds the floor. Either way, top arm reaches over to me. And up. Now under. Single count here towards me. And up and under. Do it again and hold your side plank. Come back to the center, find any plank, and lift your tailbone up. Down dog, walk your feet up towards your hand. Forward fold, let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up. Unroll at the top, palms together. Find a recovery squat here. Just a single count, take a look. Took a little step back. Adjust your outfit if you need. All right. Grab a sip of whatever you're drinking if you need it now. Just for a moment, I felt like my leggings were on backwards. And it wouldn't be the first time I had done it. Who knows? Maybe I did. All right. So remember, these things are taught. These things, these intervals, taught in layers. So you pick a layer that works for you. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, hands to the floor. Step back, find any plank. So if you're starting with your knees down, your next progression is one or both legs up. You can practice that. Once you're up, your knees can come into your chest slowly, one at a time. Or you can go slightly faster here. Or, you can double that up, in, in, in. Up to you, you decide. You can alternate them. You can go slower and slightly faster, or double it up. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. Four more to go. Four, three, two, find your plank. Tailbone lifts up. Down dog, walk your feet up towards your hands, tailbone up, unroll at the top, palms together, recovery squats here. You can wiggle your toes, you're breathing in and out. It's really easy to hold your breath while you do those. We have two more, hi Dario. We have two more rounds of that to go. You choose your level. Here we go. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, hands to the floor. Step back. Any plank to start, maybe your knees come in and out or faster. Or maybe you're going up and down up off the floor. You decide. Maybe you double it up. We're halfway there. Breathing in and out. I'm gonna go middle tempo. You do whatever you like. In four, three, hold your plank. Tailbone lifts up. 
Down dog here. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Tailbone lifts up. Unroll. Palms together. Recovery squat. After party today will be dumbbells, upper body, and an extra stretch. All right, one last time. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, hands to the floor, step back. Find any plank, knees can come in, or they're working from the floor and up to plank. You decide. I'm gonna go medium tempo. You pick a level that works for you. I'm gonna speed it up. Wrist under your shoulders. Belly button pulling in towards your spine. You can alternate your levels. Five seconds left. Four, three, two. Hold your plank. Tailbone lifts. Down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Unroll. Squat up the top. All right. You should be plenty warm. I'm gonna adjust the tempo on our playlist. Keep your squat down and up. Down, up. So push down, you squeeze your booty at the top without locking your knees. Make sure you have room around you. Touch your knees, knuckles up, sink. Knuckles up. Beth Lane in the house. How are you? For four, three, two, palms together. Take a little step back if you need as I needed to. I was pretty far forward. You want to be in the middle of your mat. If you have the cheek forward or back, I would suggest a little tiny bit forward. Step back on your left. Step back and right. You just, you just, oh, you ran for your warm up? Good for you. I saw your cute pictures from your job. Maybe sink your hips. I think it was at your job. Where were you? It was some model thing. You looked adorable. So you push against the floor to come up. So you sink, press down. Maybe you reach up behind you. Behind. This is part of your move. Let's do it again. Two more. And then parallel squat right here. Touch your knees. Knuckles up. Four to go from here. So those are the two moves. Easy enough. Two more. Left leg step back. Reach up maybe. So you sink, then push against the floor. Parallel squats right here. I feel like this is a little fast. Oh, the right, the back throw at pop-up. That's what it was. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give this one knockdown on the tempo, unless it's just me. Keep your squat. Could be me. Just one beat. Here we go, touch your knees for four. Push down to come up. Last two. And left leg steps back. Yes, Beth is single, everybody. Single and adorable. And squat, touch your knees. Four and hilarious and a lot of fun. And left leg steps back. I would say hilarious and a lot of fun describes the majority of my friends and people in my life. Squat, touch your knees. I seem to collect those types. Types, types, plural. Step back, left, sink, press. Sink, push against the floor. Let's do it again. Parallel squat, touch your knees. Push down, try not to lock your knees. Left leg steps back right here. Sink, push down. Two more. Let's do one last set. Squat, touch your knees. Two more. Step back left, right here. 
for four, three, two, and parallel squat. Shoulders down and back. Every time you come out of your squat, push down like you're on a leg press so that you squeeze your glutes behind you. Left leg steps out here. Then right side, just a parallel step out. Easy enough. As you step wide, sink your hips. Now that I'm teaching once a week in person, my right and left is wonky. I finally reversed it in my head completely for this. Then when I get in front of live people, I can't remember the correct way. All right, reach down, push down, reach up. Sink, reach, push against the floor. Let's do four more. So four, three, two, parallel squat, palms together. Make sure you have room in front of you. Shoulders down and back. Left leg steps forward one time. Then right, step forward. On this step, you turn slightly to the corners. You'll bend both knees. But when you turn around, that slight turn, you want to unload the ball of your foot. So you make the turn on the heel, just slightly. That way you won't torque your knee so sink, and if you want to make less of a turn to the corner, do that. So you adjust to whatever works for you and your joints. Maybe you reach up behind you, behind you, do it again. Behind, now maybe you reach up in the middle. Sink, reach, do it again. For four, sink your hips, keep your chest up. Once more, parallel squat, palms together. Now remember, the side step out wide squat that we did. Left side step out, reach other way. Two more. Now you step towards me on your left. Sink your hips, reach up, sink, reach up. Side wide on your left for four, push down to come up. Three, two, left side step towards me. For four, push down to come up. Step wide on your left. Sink, push down to come up. Two more. Left side, step towards me. Four, three. Now just parallel squats. See if you can talk. Check your gadget if you're wearing one to see what your heart rate is. Remember, you want to be 60 to 80% of your maximum. What is your maximum? Roughly, estimate, 220 minus your age. So for some of you, the max is going to be around 190. For some of us, it's going to be closer to 150. What? All right. Feet just a little bit wider than your hips. Hands on your legs. Twice more. And then hold your squat. Left leg steps back. Together, come up. Other way, right leg back. Together, do it again. Sink, step. Add your arm, maybe reach up behind you. Other way, so sink, reach. Maybe you touch the floor and reach. Push down to come up, reach up. So sink, knees or floor, push up. Or it's actually push down to come up. Push down to come up, sink, reach. Remember, you don't have to touch the floor. You can work here, push down and sink, reach. Push down to come up. One more each way. Push down. And palms together, recovery squat. Feet under your hips. Take a little step forward. My legs are wiped out. Yesterday, I felt like I walked 100 miles, which is not the case. But I did do a weight series here by my lonesome. But I used 
heavier weight than I normally use. So I have all kinds of muscle soreness. So I feel like I weigh a thousand pounds. All right, cross your forearms, shoulders down and back, left leg steps back once, together and your right. So this is your footwork. When you're ready, sink your hips, sink, push down to count up. Do it again. So sink, maybe you pull back like a bow and arrow. Pull, cross. So sink, cross. Maybe you touch your knees in the middle here. So pull, squat, sink, squat. When you're ready, sink your hips and reach for the floor. You don't have to touch the floor. You can work right here or here. Up to you, sink, here. If you're taking the hip sink, make sure your chest is lifted. Four to go. So four, sink. Three, sink. Two, hold your chair pose. Squat right here. Wiggle your toes. Make a fist. Extend. Make a fist. Is your belly button pulled in? It should be. Hold your hands in a fist. Come on up. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your heels. Extend through your fingertips. Find your chair squat. Palms together. Lower your heels. Wiggle your toes. Come up and squat here. All right. Now's a great time to grab a sip of whatever you're drinking. I'm going to grab mine. Now remember, if you're drinking while squatting, you drink all the way up. You don't want to spill. Hey, school's out for summer. Why do I know that? Because I don't have to drive and carpool this week. All right, set your drink down if you had it in your hand. Towel off if you need. Make sure you put things out of your way. Take a little step back. So, this next move, we've done it before, but I'll break it down. There's a lot of pieces to it that we don't do all the time. So you'll go at your own pace. Hold up, both arms come up. Inhale, reach up, bend your knees, hands to the floor. Find any plank, knees down or up. From here, you lower down to the floor, arms out, arms and legs lift, slightly. Hands at the side of your chest. Right leg flips over. Left hand, right foot push into the floor. Reach up to sort of a side, an inverted side plank. Use your core to flip back to plank. Let's try it on the other side. Lower, extend, lift in left leg. Flips over, right arm, left leg push down. Reach towards me, use your core to flip back to the center, yes? Slightly faster here. So lower, T, in, flip, push, reach, back to your plank. Lower down, T lift. The T lift is not giant and it's not a swing. Control your core. Lower, lift, in, flip, push down, reach, and back to your plank. Lower, T, together, flip, up and over, one more each way. Lower down, T, chest, flip, push down. One more time, lower, out, lift, in, flip, press, find your plank. Tailbone lifts up, down dog, walk your feet up towards your hands. Tailbone lift, unroll, at the top, palms together, squat, <laughs> sweating profusely. Keep your squat on, grab the towel. Good Lord, what happened there? Woo! Okay. We get this out of the way. Make sure you have room all around you. Left leg steps out to the side and right. Easy enough. You know this. Sink your hips. Bend both knees. Let's 
excuse me, this is the first move. Well, I'm just a hot mess today. Cross your forearms, now uncross to cross. Uncross, cross. Do it again. Parallel squat, keep your arms crossed. Make sure you have room in front of you. Left leg steps towards me, together and then your right. So as you do this, your back heel pops up off the floor. If you're ready, sink your hips, make it a forward lunge, sink, uncross, do it again. Uncross, by John the producer, he's out. One more parallel squat here. All right, let's put those two pieces together. You're ready? Left leg step out on cross to your right. Two more towards me. Uncross, left leg, sink, press. Easy enough. Parallel squat, keep your arms crossed. We'll do the same thing we did to the front, but to the back. Let's build it. Left leg steps back once, together and right. Maybe you sink your hips. Maybe you uncross. So you pick a level that works for you. Two more. Parallel squat. Now, the trick is we have side, front, and back. Let's do all of it on one leg and the other, yes? So side, front, back is your pattern. Let's walk through it. Left leg steps out, then left leg to me, left leg behind. Squat once. Right side, step out, uncross to me, behind, one squat. Keep your arms crossed. Left side, uncross towards me, behind you, one squat. Right side, sink towards me, behind you, one squat. Just squats here. All right, keep that in your head the piece you've already seen. All right, at the top, hold, bring your elbows up to the side, cross, side, maybe your heels lift up here. Maybe you press up, get a little air, lift, two more. Now just the squat right here. So what'll happen is front, side, back, one elbow lift with the heel lift or jump, sure. Then the other side. Let's walk through it in four, three, two, left side steps out towards me, behind you, one elbow lift, heel lift door, jump, right side, out, towards me, behind you, elbows lift, heel lift door, jump, left side, out, towards me, behind you, heel lift door, jump, right side, out, towards me. Behind, heel lift or jump. One more, each side. If you need a bigger range of motion, take it. Heel lift or jump. One more on your right. Sink towards me. Behind, heel lift or jump. Palms together. Keep that in your head. Giving you three different combos. They're gonna flow together. So you're here. Two more, same step out left and right, left side. Now right, so it's just alternating sides. You sink, press, goal post arms, goal post, cross. You know this next part, elbows up, heel lift or jump. Two more, and step out left, one time. I like twice, do it again. Elbow lift, heel lift or jump. Four of these. Three, two, now step out once to your left. Once to your right, heel lift or jump. One more, and palms together. Keep your squat. Now I'm gonna speed this up a little, because now I feel like it's a little too slow. Keep your squat. And I was right. How's it feel now, okay? Easy, let me know. Okay, let's link those two combos together. 
So we'll have side, front, back one heel, lift your jump. Other side. Then the new part, which isn't really new. So you'll out to the side of the goal pose. Two heel lift jumps, sure. Let's try it. Left side, and towards me, behind me, or behind you. One heel lift or jump to your right. So sink towards me, behind you, heel lift or jump. Step out left goal pose. So sink, cross, elbow lift, heel lift or jump. One more. Palms together, squat. That's your pattern. I'm gonna give us one extra tempo bump. Feels a little draggy. All right. All right, so that's our pattern. We'll do it twice more, then we'll add on. Sure, why wouldn't we? Cross your forearms, step out left. And towards me, behind you, one heel lift or jump. Right side, step out. Towards me, behind you, heel lift or jump. Goal pose arms out. So sink, cross. Heel lift or jump twice. One more. From the top, step out left. So sink towards me, behind you. Heel lift or jump on your right side. Out towards me, behind you. Heel lift or jump. Goal post arms left. Sink to your right. Heel lift or jump. One more. And palms together. Squats here. Keep that in your head. Take a little step back. You want room in front of you. Again, this is something we've done. If you're new to class, not to worry. I'm gonna break it down. Goal post arms. Two more squats. Left leg, step towards me once. Other side. Your back heel pops up off the floor. Maybe you sink your hips. Just sink and up. Two more. Let's make that a double forward lunge. Do it again. Step together on your right. So sink, straighten up, go post, arms up. Twice, straighten, bend, straighten. Bend, straight, bend. So that goes for your arms and your legs. They both bend, they both straighten. Now on the straighten here, you can hinge forward. Other way, you can hinge there, maybe if you're in your hinge, your back leg lifts up. Sure, why not? Do it again, and sink in, out, together, up. Last one, parallel squat, palms together. Can we add that on? From the goal post arms, step left, goal post, and out, together. Elbow lift, heel lift, or jump. One more, and left leg towards me, and goal pose here. Lean, other way, sink, lean. One more each side, sink, lean. Maybe your leg lifts up, maybe it doesn't. Parallel squat. Okay, from the top of all that, remember what it is? Left, front, back, one heel lift or jump, other side. Go post arms, then the new part. Sure. We'll go two times through. Left side, step out towards me. Behind you, heel lift or jump. Right side, and sink, push against the floor. The floor is your friend. Heel lift or jump. Go post arms, sink, cross. Heel lift or jump twice. Again, left leg, go post, lunge, forward, lean, up, do it again, sink, lift, parallel squat. One more time, from the top, sure. Give me four more squats to recover, see if you can talk, if you're wearing a gadget. Okay, Edie, I love it. It's like, yes, please. Not to worry, we might revisit it. But I'm looking at my clock and thinking, I might go a couple minutes long. But it's Sunday. Why wouldn't we? Here we go. Left side. Step out.
towards me, deep lunge, behind you, heel lift or jump, right side, and sink towards me, behind you, heel lift or jump, goal post on your left, sink and cross, elbow lift, heel lift or jump, one more, goal post arms, left leg forward, lunge, lean, lift, do it again, Hop or pedal here. So you can pedal or hop. If you're pedaling, your next progression would be to a hop. Once you're hopping, front and back, cross country ski, single, single, hold. One, two, hold. Once you hold, sink your hips. Sink. Reach, maybe. Remember, you can do just the pedal or anywhere in between. Twice more. Hop or pedal only. Pedal or hop. Four more to go. Four, three, feet wide. Squat here. Can you breathe? Make sure you can. Holding your breath makes it hard. Breathing is the only way Get oxygen into your blood and then into your muscles. No oxygenated blood makes your muscles mad. One more. Left leg opens out and bend straight. Bend straight. Arms up, bend open to the side. Do it again. Twice more on your left. To your right side. Open up. Four of these. Three. Center, pull both arms down. Maybe you just pull, maybe you tuck your hips and make it a crunch. Four more from here. So four, reach, three, never locking your knees. Hop or pedal, right here. So hop, jump or step, pedal, step or hop. Jump, you decide, four to go. So four, out, three, two, Arms finish up, open left. Again, to your right this time for two. Center, pull down for four. You can pull and or tuck your hips and crunch. Pop or pedal, right here. Four, three, two. Arms finish up, open left. Again, to your right for two. Center, pull straight down. Maybe you tuck your hips and crunch. Now palms together, just squat. Check your heart rate. Make sure you can talk. If you're wearing a gadget, oh, mine is high. Let's see. I haven't even done my own math. 220 minus my age, so that's 120. Okay, toes out to the corners, sink straight down. Cross your forearms. I just kind of know I have a number at which I start to get dizzy. And that's around 161. I start to see stars. But 161, let's do the real math. Yeah, that's about right. That's right around my maximum. What? Arms out to a V. Sink power outage, Pamela. Oh. You have your phone. Oh, wait. Power out is glad your battery's charged. All right, slightly faster from here. So it's cross V. Maybe your heels lift up, out, up, and. So up, if you're lifting your heels, maybe you push down, get a little air. Try four more. So four, three, oh, it's one more, palms together, and 164, and you don't feel out of breath. You know why, Edie? Because you're a lot younger than me. Think about it, 220 minus your age is your maximum heart rate. So you wanna work doing 60 and 80% of your maximum. So Edie, I'm trying to imagine how old you are. I feel like you're at least 20 years younger than me. Yeah, I think so. 
That sounds about right. So you should be able to work 20 beats higher than me. What? All right. You're here. Hold your arms down. One more. Left arm reaches to the right. So reach center, other way. So you can work here, or you can lean over and get your back leg to come up. Two more. Center, cross, heel, lift, or jump. You decide twice more. Left arm. Oh, hang on, Evie. I saw your comment. Center, jump or not. Four, three, you bring up a good point. I'll address it in a minute. Left arm goes right. Four, three, whoo, two, center, jump or not. So feet flat with a heel lift or jump. Here it is, warrior three to your right. Hands either on the floor or on your cross. If your hands are not on your cross, you can take them along the side of your body. Flex your left foot. If your hands are up, make a fist right here. Extend, make a fist. Two more. Hold your hands in a fist. Right fingertips to the cross or the floor. Open up your left hip, shoulder. Extend your left arm, bend your left knee. For two, extend both knees. Bend for two, single count. So bend, extend, two more. Hold your extension, close your left hip and shoulder, all hands and fingertips to the floor. I am sweating profusely. Left toes come down next to your right heel. Back heel stays up, bend both knees for two. Extend, maybe you bring your left knee in to your chest. Extend anywhere behind you. Bend for two, single count here. So bend, extend, two more. Hold your last position, step back. Find any plank, knees down or up. If your knees are up, you'll crouch back. So crouch to plank, crouch to plank. One more, hold in plank. If your knees are down, you'll practice bringing them up. Once they're up, you'll step out and in, or maybe faster here. Out, in, maybe a jumping jack for four, three, hold your plank, tailbone lifts up, walk your feet up, grab your prop if you're using one, unroll, set your prop to your left, oh my gosh, parallel squats here, we have to do all of that, okay, so Evie was commenting that Sometimes she fills out of breath at 150, but at 164 today, she didn't feel out of breath. So that's why I'll often mention, sometimes it's not the number on your gadget, but it's how you feel. So we call that your rate of perceived exertion. So sometimes when you've had a lot of sleep and you're really hydrated and you've eaten well and you've had a day of rest, then when you go into your cardio, uh, what am I trying to say, cardio workout, every, everything's perfect. So your heart rate has to be higher and you don't feel crazy. But like for me today, after using heavier weights by myself, my muscles feel like they weigh seven tons. So when my heart rate was down around 120, I still felt like I was working really hard. So that, feet wide, toes to the corners. So, you always want to use your rate of perceived exertion in addition to the actual number. So some days you're going to feel great, some days you're going to feel crazy. That's why we check everything. Cross your forearms. There are days when I'm, especially when we do the full body weighted workout, and I'm thinking, wow, I feel great. And I look down, my heart rate's like 165, arms out to a V. Cross over your head, sink, cross. And often, if you're dehydrated, that'll make you feel like you're working a lot harder than your heart rate says. And then, up tempo from here. So cross, feet, 
Maybe your heels lift. Up, out. If your heel lifts, maybe jump. Two more. And then your right arm swings left here. So center, other way. Maybe you lean over, get a back leg lift. You don't have to. For a four, up to you. Center, jump or knock. Four, three, one more. Right arm swings left. Four, three, two, center, jump or knock. So be flat, maybe heel lift or jump. One more step. Right arm goes left. Four, maybe stay up. One more. Center, jump or not. Flat, heel lift or jump. Here it is. Warrior three to your left. Find your prop if you need it. Definitely need my towel. Either hands on the prop or arms up by your side. Either up, make a fist. Extend. Flex your right foot for four, eight, squeeze underneath your armpit. Hold your hands in a fist. If your hands are up, put your left hand to the block or the floor. Open up your right hip, right shoulder. Extend your right arm up, bend your left knee. For two, extend, try to bend both knees. One, two, single count. Seal bend, extend, bend, two more. Then hold your last extension. Close your front hip and shoulder. Fingertips to the floor. Right toes to the floor. Right heel stays up. Bend both knees for two. Extend. Maybe bring your front knee in. Extend. Singles if you're ready. Bend. Extend. Hold your last extension. Right toes to the floor. Step back. Find any plank, put a towel underneath me, so your knees can be down or up. If they're up, crouch back, and plank. Twice more, hold any plank. If your knees are up, you'll step out slowly, wrist under your shoulders, step back in, maybe faster, out, in, maybe a jumping jack. For four, three, two, hold your plank, Tailbone lifts up, walk your feet up towards your hands. Tailbone lifts up, unroll at the top, parallel squat. See if you can talk, check your heart rate, if you're in a gadget. Otherwise, just go with how you feel. I can, maybe we'll do an old school heart rate test. Hands on your hip or your legs. Two more. Feet slightly wide within your hips. Inhale, reach up. Bend both knees. Hands on your legs. Tuck your hips around. Release. Do it again. Tuck your hips in around. Release. This time, come all the way up. Let's do an old school heart rate. So you can touch between your esophagus and your muscle. Two fingers, not your thumb. If you're quiet, you'll be able to feel your heart rate. So when I say count, your first number is zero. Ready? And count. Stop. Whatever number you've got, add a zero to that. And that's roughly your heart rate. So that's how you do it old school if you don't have a gadget. Stand on your feet, grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink, and then we'll go to the floor for core with your towel. I am just literally standing in a pool, a pond of my own, Disgusting sweat. <laughs> I'm glad this is just two dimensional and that you don't have to really experience it. I've been extra sweaty lately. All right, I'm gonna use my extra sweaty towel for my prop. I'm going to take my dry towel and put it on the floor. So the other thing while I was talking about you getting oxygenated muscles or oxygenated blood to your muscles, the other thing you have to remember is that if you're dehydrated, 
Remember that your muscles are about 75% water. So, it's almost like a jellyfish. So, if you're dehydrated, your muscles are gonna work less efficiently. It's kind of like you don't have enough oil in your car. So you wanna have enough, enough moisture in your muscles. And so sort of a little key to help you know if you're dehydrated is when you're exercising, I haven't talked about this in a long time, when you're exercising strenuously like we are, it should inhibit your thirst mechanism. So it's not that you shouldn't drink water, it's just that you probably won't necessarily feel thirsty. So if you feel thirsty while you're doing a strenuous workout, it's sort of like when the fuel light comes on in your car. It means you're way down. So you want to be hydrated. Your sweat, as long as you're not wearing sunscreen or makeup, your sweat when you when it pours through your eyes should feel like tears. If it's burning your eyes, then you know that your sweat is not as dilute as it should be. All right, so there's my physiology lesson for the day. Use the prop, get it out of the way. You're so welcome. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. So yes, not just a pretty face. I actually know something about physiology. All right, grab your towel. You're gonna grab it a little wider than your shoulders. No slack. Yes, more water daily. Now, don't go crazy because if you drink so much water that, and I we shouldn't even be talking about this, but if you drink so much water that when you pee it's clear, that's too much water. So it's a delicate balance. You don't want it to be clear because that means you're flushing out too much of your electrolytes and sodium and that kind of thing. So just enough water to where you don't feel thirsty while you're exercising. All right, knees bent, sit up tall, arms out to the side. My sister, pajama producer, is ready to cut us off, but we're gonna go a little bit long. So she's, just, she's going like this, like time. We're good, it's Sunday. All right, shoulders stay out, arms out straight, pull your towel tight, half curl down. So one, two, and up. Do it again, half curl for two, and up. As you curl, maybe your towel lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. Curl, lift, do it again. So curl, lift, this time you'll hold, hold here. You'll rotate towards me slowly. One, two, let's do the same side again. Maybe you extend your leg up, single count here. So a little can canish. Over to the center. Over to the center. Over. Let's do four more here. So four. Shoulders down. Feel your lats engage. Once more. Slow motion away from me. So one, two, center. Do it again. Maybe you extend your leg. Singles if you're ready. So over to the center. Breathing in and out, four to go, so four. Center, three, two, and forward fold. Take your towel, wrap it around your feet. Your knees can be bent or straight. And fold over, round your back. Separate your shoulder blades. Release your low back. Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet, eyes up first shoulders, and then your body. All right, at the top, unlace your towel. Before we roll down, we'll give you a little bonus back exercise. Feet slightly wider than your hips, knees can be bent or straight. Throw the top of your butt bone. Take your towel up, right over your head. Now hinge forward, so you feel this in your back. Your back can gaze. Little pulses at your hip joint. Let your feet pulse, pulse. Final four. One, two, three, round your back. Release your flex feet. Just let them sit there. Round your back. Inhale. On your exhale, flex your feet. Bring your eyes up first. Shoulders and your body. Bring your legs back to parallel. Okay. Let go of your towel. Tuck your hips. Fingertips up to the side. Roll down. One bone at a time. When you get here, let's move forward. Bring your knees into your chest. Give your knees a little rock side to side. Maybe you extend your top leg out as you take the rotation. You don't have to. It just gives you a deeper stretch into the glute and into the low back. Then come to the center. 
Shoulders press into the floor or mat. Palms on the floor next to your booty. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Belly button level to your pelvis bone. Extend your back leg out to the wall in front of you. You'll feel the resistance increase. Slowly change side. Back knee comes into 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Your front leg is out to the front and change. Two, three, do it again. Slowly change. If this is enough for you, you'll stay working here in four, three, otherwise two counts to get there. One, two, singles if you're ready. So three, two, hold and pulse. Three, two, hold and pulse. Again, three, two, hold and pulse. Last one, three, two, hold right here. Both legs to chair. Arms up. <laughs> My assistant pajama producer who's sitting behind the camera has joined on Instagram. That's hilarious. Palms out, palms up to the ceiling. So your spine is neutral. Your legs are in chair. These are your dumbbells. Rotate over towards me and then to center and away from me for two, center. Exhale as you come towards me for two, center and back. Exhale one, two, inhale, do it again. Exhale, for two, inhale, and to the back, one, two, inhale, resist the weight of your legs to the side, again, exhale, for two, one more time, towards me, and center, fingertips behind your ears, extend your legs, cross your ankles, bend your knees out to the corners, Squeeze underneath your armpits, lift your shoulders off the floor, crunch hips and shoulders in and out. And then crunch in for two, extend. Do it again, crunch for two. I realized I didn't say much in this cue because I was out of breath. One, two, extend. So you inhale as you come in, exhale as you go out. Inhale in, exhale twice more. Inhale, exhale this time, hold everything in, little pulses, crunch. Your hips and shoulders pulse closer together. You're welcome, Evie. In four, three, two, really, two hands to the side of the hips. Feet on the floor, close to your booty. You know we have to do our bridge. Tuck your hips, push your feet down into the floor to lift your hips up to find your bridge. Your diagonal line from your shoulders, your hips, and then your knees. Wiggle your toes. Either grab the sides of your towel or your mat, or lace your fingers underneath and tuck your shoulder blades closer together. Breathing all the way in and out. Wiggle your toes in four, three, two. Unlace your fingers and lower your hips. Whew. Bring your knees into your chest. Cross one leg over the other. Grab your knees or further down. Pull your knees into your chest. That'll stretch behind your top leg and into your glutes. Again, make sure to breathe while you do this. And then release your welcome back and release. Change sides, other leg on top. Grab your knees or further down. Ooh, my hips are tight. Pull your knees into your chest. Breathing as it happens. And really, both feet on the floor, almost there. Bring your front knee in, extend your leg up, only until you feel the stretch behind it. Shoulders down, maybe your back leg walks out to find a bigger point of flexibility. Doesn't have to, not a contest. Flex your front foot, bend the knee to the chest, send the heel up. Do it again, flex, bend, one more time, flex. Bend this time, hold your leg up. Take your front arm on the inside. What, what did you say? Wish, wish list. Ooh, excellent. Front arm on the inside of your front leg. I will send you a wish list, Beth. All right, send your, send, not send, push your leg a little bit out towards me until you feel the stretch on the inside of your front leg. Back hip presses into the floor. Try to flex both feet. Breathe in and out. 
Then bend your front knee to the center. Front arm reaches out to me, back arm across. And take your knee away from your screen. While you breathe all the way in and out. Boom, snap, crack, a pop. And back to the center. Change side. Front foot on the floor. Extend your leg up until you feel the stretch behind it. Maybe your front leg walks out and maybe it doesn't. Up to you. Either way, flex your back foot, bend the knee to the chest. For two, extend. Do it again. Flex. And bend. Up. Do it again. Flex. Bend. Hold your leg up until you feel the stretch behind it. Back arm anywhere on the inside of your back leg. Push your leg out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside of your leg. Front hip presses down. Flex both feet. Oh, I'm like six minutes over. I love Sundays. Bend your back knee to the center. Back arm reaches out to the side. Front arm across your knee and take your knee over towards me. Ooh, hello. Reach your back fingertips out to the side and back to the center. Let's finish. Both feet on the floor, flip over onto your stomach. Arms and legs extend out. Take your front arm, reach back around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. Option is always to bend your back elbow and make a fist to rest your head. And release, change sides. Back arm round, reach where your shoelaces would be. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. Maybe you bend your front elbow and make a fist for your head. All right, if you can, keep your back arm on your foot and reach your front arm around. Try to get both feet in your hands. If you're not quite here, work on this. Otherwise, press your feet into your hands. Try to lift your knees. Hello, watch steps. Maybe lift your chest and open your shoulders. If you did, release carefully and hands inside of your chest. Press your chest up. Take your hips to your heels. Child's pose. Then round your back. Up to the tabletop where we started. Tuck your toes. Round your back. Push down and lift your knees and your tailbone up. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll. In four, three, two. And this class that went way over time is done. Five minutes from now, if you have any energy left, we'll do deep stretch with a towel and small dumbbells. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining me and staying for this extra long class. I will see you this week, Monday and Friday, live. Wednesday, there's no live class. We have to all make a field trip together and the only appointment we could get was 10.30 in the morning. So, I'll see you tomorrow or Friday. Bye, oh bye, Aerie. Thanks, you guys.